Facebook continues on this torrid pace, they will be, break all records of valuation um, and change the entire equation on Wall Street. Now here's what's interesting about Facebook. No one likes the IPO because the unusual suspects didn't make money on it, or they didn't dr eat, drink from the trough like they normally do. Um, so they got played. They got played by a smart company who had leverage. That's Facebook. 900 million users, um, so much revenue, just without even a real revenue model. So that customer base is massive. If they continue that pace, um, they'll be good. The second thing about the IPO is the liquidity. Uh, all the investors, employees that were selling in got liquid, even with the non-lockup, there was a secondary market going into the IPO. So Facebook has just been a massive liquidity success story for the investors and early employees. And then ultimately, the, the fourth object, third objective is to get the stock public. They issued a lot of stock, the marketplace is trading that stock, and ultimately, I've always, I've always said, the marketplace will determine the price. When you have that many shares floating in the market, the market equilibrium works. That is how it works in, in the marketplace, and just because the bankers didn't get to, to pig out on the, on the money making, good for them. You know what, it's about time that uh, you know, they, they get what uh, they deserve, which is the minimal. Um, so um, I think that is ultimately the, the case with Facebook. So, Yo, John, I gotta, I gotta interrupt you here. Um, another great call you made, I don't know if you remember this, but I'll remind you, we were at Oracle Open World uh, for the Apple iPhone 5 announcement, which never came. Yeah. So it was really the iPhone 4S. Stock tanked, we were watching real time, the stock was way down. The, remember the website went down, the stock was tanking, you said, here's a buying opportunity right here. And sure enough, the last quarter, Apple's results were amazing. You know, the four S sales were huge, so that was a, that was another great call. So uh, hopefully, some of you made some money off of that. Well, you know, Dave, we tend to make the good calls to Silicon Angle. We're always on ahead of the curve, and if you look at our editorial leadership on Silicon Angle and the and the authoritative research that Wikibon's putting out, um, you know, it's I can be pretty cocky and say that we're pretty good, uh, and we're more than pretty good. We're really good. Um, and we don't really compete with a lot of the other publications because we don't run any banner ads on our site. And so we use big data to use predictive analytics to do a better job of, of trend spotting. And uh, it's a product that we develop, we're proud of it, and we're proud of our record. If you look at all the major action over the past three years, um, we, I, and my team have been on the mark almost all the time. So um, we'll continue to do that. That's a service that we provide for free. It's free data. You have free uh, data at Wikibon, and uh, we're a data company. We're proud of that, and we want to bring the best experience. So this is theCUBE. We're broadcasting live in EMC World. We'll be right back with our next guest after this break. <laughs>